guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my sister Louise and we are going to be customising our own Air Force. We've wanted customised Air Force for the longest time and we always like Google them on our phones and like think of what it would be like if we could like pay to get someone to customise them. But the problem is they like could range from 90 to 200 pound for a pair of custom Air Force which I think is it's so expensive. It is. But today, we're going to be showing you how to customise your own Air Force for a fraction of the price. So, before we get started with this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. So, let's go. So, the first thing that you will need, obviously, is some Air Force. But if you don't have some brand new Air Force, it's fine. Just use your old Air Force and just put them in the wash. I always do. But if you don't have Air Force, then just like use some trainers that are like Air Force or some just white trainers. You don't need Air Force. So yeah, what we need to do first, however, with the Air Force is we need to use acetone and some cotton wool buds to wipe down all the wax that is on top of the trainer which we didn't realise that was actually no. a thing but when we started doing our research we did find that they put a thin layer of wax over the top and we'll need to do that so that when we put the paint on it won't peel, it won't flake and they can just be nice, pristine and stay exactly how you painted them and that's a really important job so let's get that done first Right, so now that's all done and we've got all the wax off our trainers, we will now move on to the painting. So all you'll need is a platter of brushes, preferably like thin, small ones so that you can get in the more like intricate parts of the trainer and you won't make like mess. Um, and also some special leather paint called from Angelus. You can also get this off Amazon and it'll come a lot faster. So we're going to be using them. And then the same Angelus matte acrylic finish so that again the trainers won't, when they crease, they won't ruin the paint and the paint won't chip off. Also, if you want to be like really precise like us, you might want to use a pencil just to mark out your drawings. We've been waiting for ages for these trainers to come. Like, we've been asking my mom like every single day, haven't we? I think we've been really annoying her. Yeah. Just asking her, have the trainers come here? I think, now, come here? I think now she's like just relieved that they're actually here, so we just stop asking her. <laughs> yeah. But, um,. I'm yeah. just so excited. I'm just kind of more excited the fact that we are going to have custom trainers. Yeah. They might look <laughs> we might... <laughs> they may look bad and they may just, you know, stay in our wardrobes for the rest of our life. Yeah. But you never know until you try. So yeah. let's do that. We're just going to try. So let's start painting. So I'm going to start with the lilac colour. No, we're going to pencil them first. Oh, yes. Yeah. Also, um, when the shoes come with these, I'm going to leave these in just so that when I'm not pushing down, like if it was these ones, if I'm pushing down with the paintbrush or the pencil, they'll dip and then my paint could go yeah. somewhere where I don't want it to go. So we've just put those in so then when you push down on it, it's... It's like firm still, so it's like a canvas. Okay, right. So my design, I think that I'm going to do, obviously, lilac and black, but I'm going to do some like doodles on mine, on the... Lilac bit. I know, I feel like this is going to be so hard, but if it looks good in the end, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. Yeah. So. I mean, for mine, I've kind of um, Googled a picture of what I want them to look like, so it's going to be like this. don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. So it's going to be like that, but in black. Yeah. Um, so now I'm just going to put them up here and I'm going to trace my outline. Actually, I think that I'm just going to paint mine first because the doodles go over the paint. So I think I might just do like... um the pencil on top of the paint if it's dry in time. So I'm going to start off actually by using the black because Louise isn't using it yet. I, I actually just can't wait for them to be done. I think it might take a long time. Painting already? Yeah, I already said that. I know but I wasn't listening. <laughs> she never listens to me. I do, yeah, sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going like really small marks. Just try not to mess it up. I'm so nervous. Same. I don't don't want, I really don't want to mess it up. I feel like when I've done the edges, 
of it, the panic's over. Do you know what I mean? Because the edges are like the hardest bit. If you can see, like my hands are shaking. Look, kind of my other one now. This is my little drip marks. So good. Literally. Right, I'm gonna start painting now. Yeah. On an angle, That's so that I can using. use like get in the corners. I'm gonna take a different brush when I'm going into the corners. Put these over here so they get distracted. Ooh. I'm gonna do like a little bit at a time. Oh, I'm so scared. This is like proper black as well. Oh, Not bad, it's quite satisfying putting paint on a new pair of trainers. It really is, it's like. It's very scary, it's so fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I've actually done the tick. This is probably the easiest bit actually, but it feels so hard. <laughs> okay, so that's that bit done. So now let's move on to the next bit. So I finished the black um, background of my trainer on this side. So I'm just going over and filling in the tick. Um, and then I'm gonna do obviously the drips down here because it goes from no drip to drip. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna go over the background on the other side because there are some white patches still in the paint, but um, I don't wanna ruin them. So I'm gonna wait for the first coat to dry and then do a second layer. So I have done my purple front bit. And now I'm just doing this purple bit here where this is where I'm actually going to do my doodles. So I need to be really careful with what I'm doing. I might do the doodles, I might not. Depends if it looks good when I've finished this bit. Right, so we're finally done, and I don't know about you, Han, but I am very, very happy with the result of these trainers. Me too, I love them. I'm in love. I'm wearing these to my school tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yes, it has taken us a very long time, but I feel like it was worth it, and I would do, definitely do it again. Because, like, you buy new custom trainers, like I've said before, like for 150 to 200 pounds. But in total, with actually buying the trainers and like the paint and stuff to go with it, it's literally cost us about seventy pounds. Yeah. And I feel like that's so much better than spending so much money on getting someone else to do them when you can do it yourself and it's just as fun. Yeah. Um. But here is the exciting part. Here we have customized a pair of trainers for one of you guys to. And all you need to do to enter this giveaway is first off subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you have to like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and then head over to my Instagram where you'll find a picture of me and Louise with our trainers and then comment your YouTube username um, on that post so then we can see that you've come from our YouTube channel. The closing date and all the terms and conditions you'll find down below. These trainers are in a size 4 and I've even put a little H here, you can't even see it. And I've put a little H here with a kiss, so you know it's from me. So good luck guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and... And yeah, comment down below if you have any other ideas that you want me and Honey to do next. Thanks for watching, bye! bye.